Hey YouTube, what's going on? Welcome back to Highland Park here in Endwell, New York. This building right here is the senior housing complex. It has a Verizon on top with a newly upgraded ultra-wideband site. I've shown you guys a few times before. However, now the site's been widened to 100 megahertz. And below that, DISH has added their equipment somewhat recently. Looks like the building's actually in the process of getting a new roof right now. There's the utility room. And then T-Mobile and AT&T are up here on this tower. It's an FM transmitter for Star 105.7. I don't even know if it's called that anymore, to be honest. But anyway, let's test out this newly minted 100 megahertz site and see what we get. It was pulling 5 and 600 down the other day. Uh, I don't know what's going on today, though. I wonder... I wonder if they have the site turned down or if I'm in a null. I'm willing to bet I'm in a null sector. Look at that upload. <whistles> again, the upload the other day was pulling 180. So again, maybe I'm in a null here. I don't know. But there's 100 megahertz. Let's run it one more time just to see what we can pull. And then I'll run the other two for you guys. There we go. That's a little bit better. Yes, we do want the results to go higher and higher. <laughs> Let's check out our uh, fast.com results here. There you go, 400, 430. It's kind of bouncing all over the place. It's taking a really long time to finish the test. It's kind of weird. 450. All right, there we go. Loaded and unloaded ping times look amazing. And there's that great upload speed again. Pretty awesome. All right, well, give me one second here. I'm gonna switch over to T-Mobile and we'll give them a try. All right, we've switched over to T-Mobile. Again, transmitter's right up on that uh, FM tower back there. <coughs> does not appear that this site has been upgraded to gig backhaul yet, so we're going to top out right around 700 down. Eh, just below it. 39 millisecond ping, very good. 211 uh, loaded for the download, and almost around 100 for the up. Jitter at 3 milliseconds, so phenomenal results from T-Mobile as always. Uh, this line I have is capped at two point something on the download for video traffic, so I'm not even going to bother with fast, but uh, let me switch over to Boost Infinite and uh, we'll be right back. Hopefully we'll get to test out some native dish here. All right, we're back. We're connected to Boost Infinite, running on native dish right here on the building like I showed you before. Uh, right below the Verizon rack is a newly installed set of dish antennas from a couple months ago. Anyway, uh, let's see what native dish can pull here. I've noticed a lot of dish uh, sites that are right in the middle of town have great backhaul, but the ones out on the fringes of the middle, like this one is, are only at running about 100, uh, 100 megabits per second on the down and less than 20 on the up, which isn't great, but you know, it's a brand new network, so I'm sure it'll improve over time. Ping time 59 milliseconds, loaded ping at 299 on the down, up at 317, jitter at 2, upload at 15.4. So all, all things told, very usable, very uh, decent, but not mind-blowing. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this quick video today. Give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe down below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one.